rebounder for St. Peter's. Judith Gomez, the only returning starter from last year's MAC championship team, both the regular season and tournament champs, has become a mainstay in the starting five as we take a look at the first five for St. Peter's with Jana highlighted. Jada Leonard, a typical starter, day to day with a broken nose. She is not in uniform for this morning's contest. So Hyacinth moving into the starting lineup. And as for Iona, back to their usual five. They had changed it up last time out with Oka Missouri coming off the bench. But for this morning, she has returned to her normal spot. We're underway, St. Peter's in the blue, Iona in the white on this school day, and Jana, our player to watch, right on cue. And that's where Jana's most effective from that high post. She can rip and go and be really physical down there. Iona lost at Fairfield, and then a tight one at Quinnipiac last conference weekend. Ella Fajardo skips it. Jana got a piece of it, and it was last touched by Petra Aborilova. Kevin Farlow, Alexis Perez, and Ronnie Stevenson, our three officials. Jana facing up. Bajardo swiped it away. Inside, Jana draws a double team up off the glass and no. Aborilova clears the miss. And you'll see St. Peter's play a lot of 2-3 here. Aborilova firing away, could not connect. St. Peter's maintains their two-point lead. What's important for St. Peter's offensively? For St. Peter's, it's going to be about moving the ball and penetrating in the paint to really utilize Jana right there. You know, she's one of their dominant players. It's been a struggle with the resumption of conference play for St. Peter's to score. They haven't bettered 45 points in their last four all-conference losses. Turnover is a big key as well as they've struggled in that category as Sunday is denied by Gomez playing good defense on the ball. And coming into this game, Coach Ange said for them it's going to be about understanding personnel. Take a look at this drive here. Great defense by Gomez and that's something she always brings to this team. It's into Maria Fuchs. And that one is knocked down along two for Makaya Keith. And Makaya Keith shooting 22% from the three-point line, but she is starting to get into it. Oka Missouri knocks down a triple. Can she get going? It's her first home game since her 38-point performance against Maris. And that's where Iona could be most effective, is using the inside out, because D'Angelo draws so much of the attention in the paint. Iona on the board, trailing by one. Jana kicks to the corner, Keith. Good rebound inside by Gomez, who's really improved at that aspect of her game. As the foul is called against St. Peter's and Maya Hyacinth. Fuchs out of the game for Karis Roy, who started the last contest. So Jennifer Leadham, the second year head coach, making a couple of adjustments to her first five. They typically go eight deep, and one of those players in Leonard not in uniform. So we'll see if somebody else is able to earn some minutes for the Peacocks today. D'Angelo skips it. One more to Gomez, shot ready, 4-3. That is great ball movement right there, and that's one of the things that Coach Ann mentioned, because they have such great shooters on the perimeter, if they can get the defense to shift and rotate, they should be able to get their shooters open. Turn